Yes, bro. We're on to you. We, we, we know exactly what you're doing with this trailer. We know exactly what you're doing with this trailer. You can't, you, you this should be, you, sh you should not be allowed to do this at all, okay? You should not, you should not be allowed to do this. Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm here at this strange looking YouTube video to talk about My Little Pony A New Generation. There seems to be a couple of new trailers going around and this one here actually is the first one that we got after the, the original one that has like the full two minutes or whatever. This one was essentially being sent to people uh, targeted ad style. Basically if you click on a video uh, there's a chance that you would have saw this as an ad before the actual video started or you would see it in a mid roll or something like that and then uh, uh, this is what it was. Someone was able to screen record it and they uploaded it here. And uh, this is the best, hi highest quality version of this trailer that I'm able to find uh, because I'm not finding this ad myself and everything else. Uh, suffice it to say though, this is legitimate. This is an actual ad. This is an actual trailer because shortly after this one was released, My Little Pony um, Official actually released another 30 second trailer. This one shows some of the same bits that are in this one, and this one itself also shows a little bit of bits that we've seen in the original trailer that's like two minutes long or whatever like that. So today I thought I would go over this trailer, kind of break down certain scenes and things like that, and then go over this trailer and break down certain scenes and things like that in this one. Now I do want to uh, clarify right away before I do get into this, there is actually legitimately extremely, extremely, extremely major spoilers in both of these trailers. I don't know why they decided to do this. Also, I just no just realized that this is actually unlisted. <laughs> Um, I don't I don't know why it's unlisted probably because it's an ad or whatever and it's being sent out as an ad So they don't want it on their thing or whatever. I don't know, but it's unlisted Equestria daily was able to find it and get it and uh, share it and everything like that So they were able to get the link to it and things like that. So this uh, You can find this it's out there It's on Equestria daily if you want to see it But again, there is extremely major spoilers in this trailer specifically You might find some minor spoilers in this trailer here So I want to go over this trailer first and then we can go over the other one that that contains more major spoilers essentially we kind of know what's going to happen in the movie at this point um with extreme like with the final five minutes uh, revealed essentially so uh let's go ahead and go into this and kind of talk about it so it's going to be low quality on this first one so bear with me i'm gonna go ahead and mute it as well so i don't get any kind of copyright strikes or anything like that but it starts out like this we've seen this before i believe if we haven't then this is still technically not anything really new but if we continue on and go on a little bit more this is a scene where uh pip is and Sunny are encouraged to, to feel it or whatever like that. They're feeling it and they're getting ready to, to do this big dance off with this other character, Argyle. This one here, she is singing Showtime or whatever like that. And uh, it appears that Pip is being suspended by wires or whatever like that because we know we know we they can't fly or anything like that but it, it really really looks like she's being suspended by wires in this picture uh if i had to guess my guess would be that the queen has come here uh with zip to kind of take another look at the wires and everything like that make sure it's all set up properly so that uh when things go down she won't you know fall out of the sky or their secret won't be revealed or anything like that so if i had to guess that's what this scene is really about is just her coming there to get final like is it good zip is it good is it gonna work and then whatever else so that's what my guess would be for that nothing else really happens in this scene it just cuts straight to their their performance or whatever or at least a brief mo moment of the performance we get a little bit more of a performance here which i'm not sure where this is other than it most likely is taking place in the uh, Bridalwood Forest where the unicorns are because they all have their fake horns on and things like that So that's probably what this is if we continue on um, We hear more music and things like that some bits that we've seen we haven't seen this before which I find this very interesting because this because this is Sprout and some random characters that we don't know anything about if I had to guess this is just background characters or characters that are gonna be like his posse so to speak that are like almost his henchmen I guess you could call it as well uh, basically yes man to, to Sprout or whatever and he's just singing and dancing and they're joining along because they are ready for him to use his super weapon or ready for him to to take down these unicorns and pegasi for invading his town <laughs> that's what i would be guessing this is obviously a sing and dance thing uh we don't get to hear this song specifically in this trailer because it's just playing uh, the the same one that we've gotten a million times already but if we continue it goes to this i'm pretty sure we've seen this already this is an adorable picture though i wish it was more high def there but uh continuing on we get basically nothing else oh wait we do get this i don't want to talk about this because i 
<laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Um, but then we get this scene. I'm actually going to unmute this one. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get copyright struck. Um, but this one's kind of funny to me. I find that funny just because um, he he's like actually singing the song that, they, that they've been singing in the trailer this entire time. So what, what's most likely happening here, though, is he is most likely here. To, they most likely come here to steal this crown from the queen. And he just got caught. Like, he just got caught with the crown. Maybe he dropped it. Maybe he tripped on this dog or something like that. And everyone's like, oh my god, what the fuck? That's a crown. What, who is he? I've never seen him before. And then he's just, like, trying to blend in by singing the song that Pip was singing uh, in the concert or whatever. And he he's he's failing he's not doing very good these two are probably in the background uh in the distance talking to someone or something maybe even distracting them or something and they're like oh shit he just got caught alternatively it's entirely possible that they didn't know hitch was here at all and um this is the first time that they realized that hitch was here and they're like oh shit he's been helping us we didn't even know and then they they go off with them I, I think it's more likely that they've been working together this whole time but it would be very interesting if they didn't know he was helping them up until this point so uh, it could go either way, because the stuff that we've seen after this and before this doesn't really clarify directly. Uh, but it would be interesting if it was that case. And then we could just get this little tea party thing, and she says that she wished she would have live-streamed it, and then that's this basically the entire thing. So we do know that we're going to get at least a few references and a few jokes and things like that uh, relating to uh, live-streaming and posting and things like that, social media type stuff, because Pip did make a reference there at the end of that other trailer. Uh, but next up, we have this trailer here, and I gotta be honest, with you guys again this is extremely extremely spoilerly it has a lot of spoilers okay i i don't know i don't know the right way to, to say that but it has a lot of spoilers in it this one i'm gonna try to uh uh not mute because <laughs> i feel like some of it is very important to hear um but we do hear a couple of things that we've already heard before such as her not having her magic it just disappeared this is a scene that we haven't seen before but basically, Zip uh, Zip here is telling them that maybe her magic disappeared because the, the gems or the jewels or whatever were separated. We actually get to see that jewel here in a second. Uh, but this room here uh, appears to possibly be Zip's lab uh, because we've seen other scenes very similar to this. This stuff right here in the side kind of looks like machinery or some workspace and stuff like that uh, and also matches some of the things that we've seen in other scenes with her lab in it. See, you lost your magic because the crystals are separated, as you can see, and they take the crystals, and that's obviously the crown, and then this other thing that's in here is obviously the crystal that was in the Unicorn Empire, the Unicorn Forest, the Bridalwood Forest, the Brittlewood Forest, whatever you want to call it. I could go for some peanut brittle. Um, <laughs> Uh, this this sets them off on their journey of like, hey, we got to get the crown and we got to get this thing from the unicorn tribe and then we got to put them together and that will give us magic back. I don't know how they come to this conclusion, but Zip is a scientist, so maybe she knows something about this somehow. Uh, maybe she compares her notes with uh, Sunny's notes. If I had to guess, Zip zip's big goal right now is to try and get magic back so that she can fly because she really really badly wants to fly and it's up to her to create all this machinery and all this fakery to allow them to fly in the first place so they they do that and maybe the queen has her on a specific task to come up with a way for them to be able to fly again but they have no idea how or why it's doing that and then sunny comes along and she's like oh well the, you know she compares notes or something and zip is like of course i got it i figured it out maybe it happened because of this and then she reveals it that's most likely what's happening here um because they have to come to this conclusion somehow and i think it has to do with the fact that zip and sunny compare notes and figure it out this part is kind of funny because uh, this is clearly after leaving the Pegasus Empire and they're coming to Bridalwood for basically the first time or maybe the second time, who knows. And, and and she's just over here like, oh, we need crystals. Here's a crystal. Here's a crystal. Here's a crystal. And I just I just find the whole thing absolutely hilarious because just just look at this. This crystals. Crystals. <laughs> and they, they jokingly mention how they're they're looking for a very specific crystal. For the one. I gotta mute this because this this music is just gonna be impossible. But this is another scene in that lab. Sunny and Izzy are here. They have these uh, machines here. If I had to guess, Sunny and Izzy are probably here. They probably seen some form of flying, and they're like, "How the hell are you guys flying without magic?" And then Zip is like, "Oh, well, here I can just show you." And then they, she shows her, and 
she's very proud of it and everything like that because she created the machines and things like that uh, but clearly she's using a combination of these fans and potentially wires um, whatever this is I don't know what this is it looks like it might be wires or something uh, that it is being combina com combined to allow them to fly and things like that uh, we know they fake flying with wires but I don't think we knew about the fans until now but yeah they just do that and then we get this <laughs> The scene where Hitch just gets picked up by this little cart and gets carted away, and Izzy is just very excited and happy about this. If I had to guess, this scene probably combines with the last scene that we had over here, where um, they end up here and she says that she wished she would have live streamed it. If I had to guess, this is probably some kind of weird convoluted thing that all sends them all here at the tea party all at the same time or whatever and and they enjoyed the ride if i had to guess that's probably what this is it's also probably just them being like oh let's do makeovers and they just they just throw him on this and they they will him to another section and they put all this makeup on him and stuff like that that's probably that's one of the two things that are happening here but now we get into the actual major spoilers here uh everything else from here on is pretty much just purely music that's why i'm muting this but uh this next set of scenes go really well with the uh, music video that got that we got recently because it shows a clip that we got there as well more context of of that clip and it pretty much shows the climax of the movie so again there is major spoilers here so click off if you don't want to be spoiled but this is like legit this is legit this it's on it's on the official thing it's real this is the real trailer this isn't someone you know faking this somehow but here we go you can see how she's hanging on hanging on for dear life if we actually stop at just the right time you got to go like frame by frame here pretty much but you can see that crystal that they got from Bridalwood Forest, which means they were successful in taking that from that place. I think we all could have guessed that they were going to be successful in doing that. And obviously, they're trying to climb the lighthouse, as we saw in the music music video of them climbing on the lighthouse and then it falling apart. We now finally know what Izzy was reaching for when that thing launched at her. She was reaching for this because she needs to get it and get it to Sunny so she can put the crown together in the lighthouse and light it. Uh, so she obviously tries to reach for it, but here comes Sprout and his death machine here. It looks like this could be Zip. Um, this could be Hitch over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's very blurry and hard to see. Uh, Hitch could also so be somewhere else on this contraption that we just can't see because it's blurry and it's only there for a, a, a few frames of a second. Um, but it seems like this is where everyone else is. Uh, maybe they're even trapped on this somehow. Maybe they're, they're tied down to it or maybe there's some kind of containment thing on there and they're stuck on it. Um, but this is his death machine. It's some kind of weird big tractor thing, and he is launching this blade at them, which is the blade that we saw in the other music video trailer with it just swinging through the air. I don't know why, but I got comments saying that it was a bulldozer for some reason. It's, it's clearly not a bulldozer, and now we have confirmation that it's not a bulldozer. And they're coming to this lighthouse because of reasons, I guess maybe he, he figured out what their plan is, and he doesn't want the other tribes to have their magic because he's scared of them. Who knows, but if we continue, you can see how it's it's launching at them and this is the scene that we got in the music video of it just launching at them for some reason the crystal isn't there which means she most likely was able to grab it or it fell to the to the floor or something like that maybe she maybe this is cut in such a way where she was actually already able to pick it up and throw it up on the the main uh room here and then we get to this scene or something who knows but this very clearly misses it's on us it, it's on its way to missing so we don't have to worry too much about that but if we do take a look at the very next scene it goes straight from this to an explosion the lighthouse is completely destroyed everyone has uh surrounded it there's this big uh, almost a rain boom sort of thing in the sky it seems to me that they were successful in getting the crown together with the other crystal and in the lighthouse and it shot this thing up in the sky and this is what's giving their magic back. Uh, this is confirmed sort of by the next scene. Obviously they're all happy but you can see how there's like magic on her horn there's uh magic on her wings and you only see it for a split second in this trailer but magic appears on zip's wing as well it's very it's like this is the only frame you really get of her magic coming back on her wings this matches absolutely perfect with the original trailer that we got and this is exactly what i was saying in the original trailer when it came out is there's a scene where all the pegasi in the pegasi kingdom or whatever are flying and they have this magically glowy stuff on their wings and i said this is most likely the end of the film where they get their magic back and that is what it is it, it looks exactly like it it's the same sort of magic-y stuff uh on their wings as it was on theirs and they're all happy they're all surprised and shocked like holy shit we did it we got magic back and then uh we get uh this 
They're at a tea party. I believe this is the same thing where she says she live streamed it, I wish. Yeah, it's the same thing as that. And then of course it goes back into music and stuff. And then that's that's pretty much it for the trailer. Um, there's not anything else that it really shows, but that is uh really, 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 really telling here. Cause this is a this is a, a very spoiled filled uh trailer, and I'm surprised that it's being sent to people as an ad. It's so strange. As you can see from this Equestria Daily article, another trailer to go along with yesterday seemed to have dropped with a mix of old scenes and some new ones. Looks like the advertising blitz is in full swing at this point. At least it looks new to me. It is new. It is new to all of us. Check it out after the break. And they obviously thanked this person for finding it. And I guess leaking it? I don't know because it's an unlisted video, so who knows how that happened, but uh, you can see how it is indeed a legitimate video because it's on their actual thing. If we actually click on that, we can actually go to their uh, their actual official YouTube page, um, as you can see here. Now, as you can see here, it's not posted on here because it is unlisted, uh, most likely unlisted so that they can use it as an ad for videos and things like that. So uh, that is pretty much the news that we have here. Like I said, it's very, very spoiled filled. There is so many things in here. Honestly, this whole screen recording thing makes it even more like a leak, but it obviously isn't a leak because it was an ad that was sent to them. So technically it wasn't leaked, um, but take it that way you will. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but we had a little bit of a long thing to break down because there is just so many new things in that trailer. I really hope I didn't miss anything. If I did miss anything in that trailer please do let me know in the comments below and uh that's gonna do it for the video i do hope that you enjoyed if you did please do consider liking subscribing sharing and doing all of those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things like that not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful